Hi, right, so now let's do this problem. So it says that Bill buys a 10-year thousand par value bond with semi-annual coupons paid at an annual rate of 6%, right? So 6% divided by semi-annual to uh, 3%. So 3% times $1,000 par value would get $30 coupons. Now the price assumes an annual nominal rate of 6% semi-annually. So this is going to be 3% as well. Now as Bill receives each coupon, he immediately puts the money into another account, earning interest at an annual effective rate of I. So again, this is a reinvestment concept situation. So whenever we're dealing with reinvestment, again, this is a future value concept. So we have to create a new future value equation and on top of that once that is solved we have to add on the redemption or $1,000 par value so now let's do the first part first so he puts each coupon payment into another account so this is going to be at s right they're 10 years semi-annually so it's going to be 20 it says that the account is going to earn interest at an annual effective rate of i well in terms of all of these coupons and what has occurred so far, everything is happening semi-annually. So we can't just denote this as an annual effective rate of I. If there is a semi-annual coupon occurring, which causes $30 coupons and and uh, twice the amount of years that we're working with 20, we're going to have to set the uh, interest rate as a semi-annual thing as well. Um, and then uh, towards the end, we will have to convert it to annual. But now at the end of the 10 years, immediately after uh, Bill receives the final coupon payment and the redemption of the value, because that is what is supposed to happen when we're reinvesting, Bill has earned an annual effective rate of 7% on his investment. So what did he invest in the bond? 1,000. And he received an annual effective yield of 7% reinvestment. So again, um, it says Bill has earned an annual effective yield. So we're not we're not doing it to 20. It's not semi-annual, it's annual, and 10 years has passed, right? So now again. This, not only did we create a future value concept equation here, but we also, um, they also presented another future value concept. So uh, towards the end, we just end up uh, equating both of these equations. Now they're saying that they want to calculate I. So what we're going to do is that we're going to solve this part first. So we're going to do um, 1,000 times 1.07 to the 10 which is 1967.15, subtract the 1,000, subtract the one, it's 967.15, now let's solve for J, so, What's wrong with my calculator? Okay, we end up getting 4.76 as the semi-annual rate on the reinvestment account. But now we're going to have to convert this as an annual thing. So let's do 1.0476 to 2. Equaling an annual rate. And let's solve for I to find that rate. 
So we're going to do 1.0476 squared uh, minus 1, and we're going to get 0 0.09746, which is B, the final answer.